Nick was a great son, a great brother, a great police officer who gave 100% every single day. He was also one of my best friends, one of the best friends I could ever ask for. In fact, Nick was such a great friend that he had a lot of best friends. When I first met Nick, we clicked right away. Like most of the people that met him, Nick, and Nick opened himself up to be your friend almost instantly. He was sincere when he talked to you, and he was sincere when he gave you advice. He did it because he cared. He had the heart of gold, the type of heart that could never speak a bad word against anyone, not even people he arrested. As Nick and I grew up together, there was one thing that stayed constant with Nick, his sincerity and his heart of gold. Nick spoke highly of his brothers and other friends when we were together. I remember thinking at times, I wonder if he thinks this highly of me. I wonder if he speaks of me like he speaks of his brothers and other friends. I got my answer. I got my answer when Nick and I would go for car rides or just hang out together. We'd talk, but not about anything in particular. You, we were just usually around each other to be around each other, the kind of company that brothers keep. I knew that Nick, I knew what Nick meant to me, and Nick knew what I meant to him. It didn't have to be spoken. Nick and I gave each other a lot of advice when we were together, as I'm sure he gave a lot of people advice. Sometimes the advice was short and sweet and to the point. Sometimes it was filled with his philosophy. One of those pieces of advice Nick gave me, I will never forget. It was a difficult time in my life. And we talked many times in the wee hours of the morning, and he said this, life is too short to worry about the things you can't change. You have to pick yourself up, collect all your pieces, and move on. I felt that was fitting to talk about today. Nick was never one to dwell on things. He had that goofy smile that we all admired. And he had that infectious laugh that we'll never forget. If Nick were here today physically, we would see him in board shorts, flip flops, and a straw cowboy hat. He was the only person I knew that could pull off a similar look to Kenny Chesney. He'd walk up, click his fingers, pound his closed hand into his open hand, and he'd say, well, what are we going to do from here? My response and respect to Nick would be, Nick, we're going to celebrate this, the time we had with you. We're going to celebrate your life and all of your accomplishments. We're going to share your memory, memories of all the good times, but most importantly, we're going to pick ourselves up, we're going to collect our pieces, and we're going to move on but never forget. I would also add by saying that we're not going to say goodbye to you. We're going to say, see you later, see you soon. To Bill and Kim, thank you for bringing Nick into this world. I thank you for sharing him with me and all of his friends. He was proud to be called your son, and he will forever live on through all of his friends and all of our memories. To Chris and Mac, I love you guys like you're my own brothers. The road will be tough for a while, but it'll smooth out, and times will get easier. Just remember that Nick is with you every step of the way. To the Rapid City Police Department family, fight like Nick, train like Nick. Know that Nick is with you every day on every call and will always have your back. Continue, to, continue the watch that Nick started. And remember, we now have one of the strongest angels watching over all of us. Nick loved the outdoors. And he once said, 
The mountains are calling and I must go. Nick is hiking all of his favorite places now. He's enjoying the outdoors. His newfound love for rock climbing, he's getting to do that. My advice to Nick would be to make sure you tie all those knots the right way. Remember to run it through the harness this time. The mountains were calling, so he went. Nick, I will miss you, but I will never forget you. I love you. I will see you later and see you soon. <laughs>